Hey guys, Christian King here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and today I am gonna kind of just talk around and mention a few things and give you guys a couple suggestions, and then we're going to end the video. That's the entire idea of what I have to do. <laughs> ah, speak English. Anyway, guys, um, because I made that really weird intro, I'm going to quickly apologize. So I'm sorry. And now we're gonna get on with the episode. So I, was, I decided I'd start up here just because I don't think we've ever started a video from up here and look down at the beautiful dinosaurs below. Especially now that we have the stegosaurus in here. Yeah, but um, we're going to head downstairs real quick and over to the visitor center to go into the park where I have done some updates. Not great ones though. So um, the first thing I am going to talk about is the Ice Age area. I mean... I know it's been like, I don't know how long since we started building there, and it's still not at all close to being finished. Why is it so laggy in this one direction? Huh. Actually, let's, let's, video settings, let's put it down to six. There we go. That's better. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Ice Age area, and... I know I've had that thing for practically ever, and I still haven't done anything really monumentous. And I, I really want you guys, your guys' honest opinions on this. Ooh, did he get out? Okay, he didn't get out. Good. Um, basically, I'm considering getting rid of the ice island, and actually, we're gonna head up the carnivore way real quick. Head over there and see how it looks, but. There is a part of the forest I am considering taking out. It's in the vague area over over here. Because, you know, we've already done, a, like, all of the other Ice Age creatures are in here. We've got Dodos, Quaggas, Gastornis, Foros Rakus. So, I'm thinking, so, like, this forest area right here, where we really don't have anything. There's enough room in here, I believe, at least, to tear it down, tear down this forest area, and build a mammoth and... Elasmatherium enclosure. Oh, by the way, guys, I did build a brand new fence for the Triceratops and Ankylosaurus enclosure. I think it looks pretty cool. We've got, like, what could be considered, like, feeding stations. Maybe I'll put, like, a little chest with food in it here. Kids could come and feed them and stuff. We've got more viewing vents over there. Also, I thought this fence fit, kind of fitted in more than the old one did. Especially since it's kind of connected with this big one up here. Also, sorry if my words slur a bit. Um, I did have to go to the orthodontist like last, um, early, not early, late last week. And uh, I got something put on the back of my teeth to help my bite, I guess. But uh, basically it makes it really hard to talk clearly sometimes, especially when I say that the letter S, S. Like you see, it messes up a lot. So it's kind of hard to say it. So that's why my voice sounds a little weird. But anyway, moving on. Basically, this area, I believe there should be enough room in here for an Elasmatherium slash Mammoth cage. And now you may be wondering, where would the Sabertooths go? I mean, we do have Sabertooth Tigers, and they need to go somewhere. And I actually did think of that as well. And for quite a while, as well, actually, it took me a long time. But I realized we have this nice big open area here. Because um, we've got these guys over here, we've got the aquarium over here. But then the only other creatures that you're going to see for, like, basically the rest of the park over in this direction are allosaurs. So I was thinking, maybe we can move, ma renovate this area out, make it look real nice, and put Smilodons in here. So that's the new Ice Age idea. Um, if you guys like that, please leave it um, your opinion on this in the comments. Um, should I stay with the island, or should I move them all into here and just make a more compact park? Second of all, I did update the Allosaurus enclosure, as you can see here. I I guess I broke the, that tree block there. Um, I added in a new little area to it. Um, I actually don't have a way to get in here, I realized. I just realized now. Um, but basically, there's a little more exhibit. Tell me what you think of it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or just to, like take it out for more exhibits. I don't know. I'm kind of confused at this point, trying to figure out what, how things look. This is a better view. Um, I made some cool little arches going up to the pathway. I don't know. Tell me what you think about this as well, please. 
because I, I don't really know what to do with it. We're going to have it to the pterosaurs. I don't think I've done anything new with the pterosaur exhibit. Yeah, there's nothing new with pterosaurs. Um, I think I've already shown off the newest addition to the Sarcosuchus exhibit. If I haven't, or this is your first time seeing the park. Um, actually, if this is the first time, your first time seeing the park. Hello, welcome to the channel. Um, this is my dinosaur park. Um, we still have the Sarcosuchuses in there. And I did compare ones on, on a creative world. I did compare ones the day and age we have them. To compare to a fully grown one. And I'm very glad I did this addition because they're going to get huge. Just absolutely massive. And I'm trying to find them. Oh, there's one there. Can't he can barely see him? They do like to hang out in that deep water, which I think is really cool. That's the Spinosaurus. Um. Okay. So anyway, that for the Ice Age area and the uh, sp not Spinosaurus, um, Allosaurus area. Sorry, my brain is a little confused at the moment. Um, leave my your thoughts on that. Should I? Key, like change things up a bit more or do you like them how they are um oh now here's a good 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 bit that um i have found out so basically we know revival hasn't updated in i don't know like a couple weeks i don't i'm not worried i know they are going to update it basically you there is they have a github or whatever basically you can see what things are going to be adding in next and there are two, two, I say, brand new creatures getting added into the mod. I, I, do, knew, I do know what they are, but to keep people from that mod getting mad at me for spoiling it for everyone, you can go check it if you want, but I'm not going to say on video which two animals they are. I'm just going to say one of them is probably going to be pretty small the other one will be around the size probably around the size of an allosaurus or sm probably smaller than that but they will be two very interesting creatures as a mod and one of them i'm really surprised about considering and here's the biggest thing actually only one of them is a dinosaur one of them is not but it's a very cool entry nonetheless um, oh, there were some other things I think about. Yeah, so, uh, that's another thing. Do you guys want me to, um, basically, we are going to have two more episodes after this before we end the season, and only two more, trust me. So, do you guys want me to wait a little while? Like, do you guys want me to wait for the update to happen so we could add two new creatures into the park? Or do you guys want me to wait and just save it for the next, for like next time? Or, and like do mod reviews and show you guys what it looks like and stuff. Do you guys want that or do you guys want me to keep from doing another couple, like save the next two episodes for a little bit so you guys have a chance to see the new animals? Because, you know, I kind of want to know, that's something that I think you guys should really decide because, I mean, this is in a sense both like mine and your guys' park. And I want you guys to have a good amount of input into what goes on, especially dinosaur and prehistoric creature rise. And I'm just running around the park right now. Oh, I did get a new gun. If you guys didn't notice, I forgot completely forgot to say this. It's a Spaz 12 shotgun. And me and my friend were messing around with this when we were playing on a, one of my friend's servers. And this sucker, if you get like point blank, it will one hit you. It that it's really cool. They actually got it to do damage uh depending on how far away you were. Oh, this is the other side. These are just like viewing windows to go through and look. Whoops, um, yeah, and let's go in here. Oh, okay, some other news. I still haven't updated the aquarium, and I might not. I kind of like how it is, but I'm considering getting rid of some of the mosasaurs, except I might be moving the other mosasaurs out somewhere, at least out of this tank, because in a sense, because this is technically old. What do we, we never, did we come up with him? What was his name? I did name him. I was like, we never named him, but we did. It was like a razor or something. Okay, dang it. We're going to go. We're, we have to go in. Ripper. And there he is going to wreck. Yep. Monster Source killed us. It's actually pretty good time because we're going to sleep in a minute. 
Of course, it's not nighttime yet, you game. <sighs> I really like this view. Maybe for the next park, we'll do something similar. Except maybe not a hotel. I mean, although the who ho not hotel, the hotel was, I think, a cool idea, and it looks okay. I don't think next season is going to have an, a hotel. I don't know. It just depends on whether or not I want to apply the time to actually build it. Because it takes a lot of time to build something like this. Then you have to integrate it, add other stuff to it, make rooms, make a like, lobby and stuff. So it just takes a long time. Let's try and sleep now. Um, okay, ours is the only room open. So, you know, that kind of stuff. I do also want to say... Um, I didn't know whether or not to tell you guys this. I probably was, I was, like, I was going to keep this a secret, considering I didn't know if I was going to actually do it or not, but I have decided that for Season 4 of Minecraft Dinosaurs, yes, it is confirmed, there is going to be a Season 4. If you didn't know that, you, um, you haven't been very observant. <laughs> But, um, basically for Season 4, we're not using Revival. We're going to be using Jurassic Craft, and... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there are some of you who will think that's a great idea. If you don't know what Jurassic Craft is, check that out. It is a re Not the mod pack, guys. Not the mod pack. The mod. It is an amazing dinosaur mod, and I think it does deserve just as much attention as Revival does. Because they put together a pretty awesome mod, and the 4.0 version of it is coming out, which may well not well 4.0. So there is a new update coming out for it soon. So I'll probably do a review on it, so you guys kind of get an idea on what we'll be seeing for season four dinosaur park. But that is going to be the mod we're using. We're not using revival again until probably season five. But you know it will be making a return, and I will still be posting videos for updates. And who knows? Maybe we can... I don't know. Maybe, uh... What can I do in between? I don't know. Maybe I can refer you to some other revival series if that's what you guys really want to watch. Because I won't be doing it for next season. I'm just going to say that I'm not combining them because... I think Jurassic Craft right now already has close to 30, 30, 40 mobs in it. So it's got probably like double of what revival has. And, um... Basically, I don't want to have to make a park for like 70 dinosaurs. I mean, even if I combine them, I still don't want to have to search for two kinds of fossils, make all the different machines. I just don't really want to have to work twice as hard to make the same park. So, if you guys understand that. But, um, I think we've probably been going for at least 10-15 minutes. If you guys have no- Oh, I forgot to talk about something entirely. The channel! The channel! I'm so amazed, guys. We have, like, a, a couple weeks ago, we hit a 1,000 views on a video. We are at 91 subscribers at the moment, guys. 91. Um, I really don't know what to say. I, I'm, I'm so surprised that we might actually hit 100 subscribers this summer. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm just really, my, I'm honestly, my breath is taken away that, you know, We've actually grown to this size already in just a short, what is this? It's been like a year and a half, short year and a half, and we've already made it to, I've pretty much made it to 100 subscribers. So um, I just want to thank you guys for getting to the point we are today, and um, hope you guys push it all the way up to 100, so if you haven't subscribed already, um, please do. Remember to like, comment, and s like and comment on this video and any others that come up or are already out. Remember to subscribe again, and until next time, peace.